sitting at work, um, just messing around on YouTube, and I came across this like whole section of a like reviews and the actual movie itself called uh, Cameron's Closet that I filmed in 1988. Um, I played the character of Cameron, and it was a like a, a low budget horror film that um, shouldn't shouldn't have come out as charming as it did, but it did come out kind of charming. Um, but it's one of those things that nobody has ever heard of, but, um, here's the trailer for it. And then I'm going to play a couple of reviews because <laughs> I'm just cracking up that people have this much time. Kind of like I have this much time right now. And here we go. From the beginning of time, a child has always sought the safety and protection of his family. Cameron came from a normal family. Now, Cameron is in danger. I'm going to stop it tonight. This was a big hit, the, the machete. So bad. Whoa. Once Cameron's life was That's Cotter Smith. Comfortable. Absolutely While great guy to work with. At play, in his closet, Cameron unleashed not only beautiful dreams, but hideous and evil demons. That demon was made by the guy that did, um, he did the E.T. demon, which I did the E.T. Pepsi commercial. I'm going to say a little bit after this. What does it want? Yeah. Later, dude. But he designed the E.T. Um, character as well. So that, Where did it come that was cool. They had a glass right in the middle of the camera that focused one far and then focused on my face really close. It's kind of neat. That's disgusting. This is all filmed inside of a Mercedes-Benz repair dealership. And they were remodeling. Right in Hollywood. Was it coincidence? This, they built a replica of my bedroom inside of a cylinder and they rotated the cylinder so I was on the ground the entire time going up the wall. Cameron, you have to do it. You have to send it back. You can't stop it anymore. It's going too far. What are you going to do? Tab Hunter is a big I'm actor too. Kill the boy. Chuck McCann, he was a huge actor also. Otter Smith and then Mel Harris, who plays the uh, psychiatrist in this. She was on the TV show called 30 Something, which was a huge hit, like in the, well, I guess probably the early 90s. It's gonna kill me next. I don't want you That's to be afraid. McCann, he was awesome. <laughs> who will be there to protect the world from what is hidden in Cameron's closet? That little Indiana Jones whip. Leave him alone. I didn't want to act that way, but the director told me I had to do this. Leave him alone. It was totally not me. Never, ever, ever liked that part. You know what I can do to you. There, Scott Curtis, right in the center. All right, now we're going to show a couple of reviews. So this is a review from a guy named Matt, and uh, his channel on YouTube is You and Your Horror Movies. Um, and I'm going to put this one first because uh, this is kind of the story of my life and my uh, acting days. It's like I do things, and then I'm always just one step away from people going, oh, yeah, that was done by so-and-so. <laughs> have to go. actually somehow get into Cameron's mind to fight this demon, to save Cameron, and to save his soul. Now, again, this is a little hidden gem. Again, a lot of people don't talk about this film, and they should. Uh, a lot right. of fun, great special effects, you uh, talk good high this. body count, uh, everything like that. It's from the 80s, so it's kind of like a good high very body cool count. 80s type style. Uh, practical effects are all in this movie. The demon itself looks, looks like pretty that's a badass. I like the way... Um, on it the wall has this weird She'd be disappointed don't be watching movies like this young man look um 
the death scenes are pretty cool. They're pretty graphic, which are fun. Again, the kid that's played by Cameron. Here it comes. Who is... Uh, here it comes. I who? Um, Cameron is... Well, anyway, don't say what it is. Does a fantastic job. The kid actor has uh, done well. Even the rest of the acting is pretty well done. And I'd like to see someone get this a uh, special treatment. Yeah. I'd love to see some interviews with some of the cast and crew. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Story of my life. Ah! But that's okay. It makes me me. All right. And here we have a review from uh, YouTube channel Podark Review. Um, okay. Here we go. It's mortals. Evil man here. Today we'll be reviewing the film Cameron's Closet from the 1980s. Okay. This movie was pretty cool. Yeah. It was evil. Yeah. It was demonic. And it had psychic powers. Fucking A. It's about this young boy named Cameron. He plays in his closet. He has psychic magical abilities. Yeah. But with these abilities of the mind, he unleashes something very evil upon the earth. A demon from hell. And let's and. just say after that, the movie gets very interesting. I won't ruin the middle or the end for you. Because <laughs> it's very scary. I give this film two thumbs up. From Evil Man. Cameron's Closet. Go watch it. I recommend it. Awesome. Thanks, Evil Man. All right, and that's all I got right now. I'll uh, I'll, I'll keep looking, and uh, we'll have some more fun. Again, this is my first time ever doing um, reaction videos, but uh, th this one was pretty funny. All right, later, guys.